I'm going to help you keep those resolutions going this year. Dr. Dorenzo, board certified psychologist here. Let's talk resolutions and how our psychology can either fail us or how we can use it to our advantage. First and most importantly, you must understand that comfort is not the objective. If you cannot manage discomfort, then you will not change and be successful at your New Year's resolution. So speaking of discomfort, this is one of my favorite times of year because when I go to the gym now, it's like the third, fourth week of January, the gym's empty. Check this out. It's all mine again. All right, side note. I see a bartender, he comes to me professionally, and he told me that January is the absolute worst month for business because so many people quit drinking as a result of a New Year's resolution. He said, though, that he's not worried at all. It's pretty, pretty funny because he said he wasn't worried at all because everybody will be returning by February. And I never really considered this perspective. Humans fascinate me. We are always seeking improvement yet are so challenged to reach it. Only 10% are successful in creating new habits from a New Year's resolution. And it's no wonder that nearly 70% of resolutions are related to diet and exercise after the holiday binge, as we know that engaging in healthy behavior gives us the best chance to extend our lives. But being rational and consistent are not always the human traits that we employ. Overeating and count surfing eventually win over good sense for most of us. I know that happens to me. Now, resolutions fail for four reasons. Despite conventional wisdom, we absolutely handicap ourselves by setting a change date or a resolution date. A change date is just an excuse to put off making necessary changes right now. How in the world is going to the gym and starving yourself on January 1st going to be a great experience after binging and sitting around for two weeks. It's not, okay? You are going to feel deprived and terrible. Now, this brings me to the second and third causes of failure. Humans move toward pleasure and we want immediate results. Yet sedentary bodies do not move easily and body composition does not change quickly without consistent and persistent effort over the long haul. Now, it sounds like so much work to me, okay? You're right, it takes a lot of work. Now, compounding this need for pleasure is the fourth factor, which also counters our movement toward change. This factor relates to our human need to be in control of ourselves or to have autonomy. Most often, we attempt to engage in a new behavior after work during the little leisure time that we have. And because we sense that we have to do it, we fight back to maintain autonomy. I know it sounds crazy, but we don't like doing things that we feel like we have to do, even if we are the ones telling ourselves to do it. Now, the solution to the resolution problem. I want you to extrapolate what I'm going to tell you to any resolution or new healthy habit. I'm gonna talk about physical health and exercise because those are the big ones for most people. Now, if you hope to change your diet or begin exercising or maintaining it through this year, don't set a change date. Make the change right now, whether it be in the middle of December or the middle of March, okay? Second, find a version of the activity that you enjoy. If you wanna exercise and you like tennis, then play tennis rather than running five miles a day. Third, change incrementally. In the first couple of weeks, you wanna start small and exercise a few times each week. Once you accomplish this, you I promise you will feel more in control. Then you wanna increase your exercise a little more each week. As you are successful in your incremental gains, you will feel more in control and you will find the positive changes pleasurable. Also, you want to create a little discomfort in the event that you find yourself resisting the change. So you want to set up the expectation for this new habit in a very positive way. So by you want to put together a cool workout outfit, maybe go shopping, get some new, new Lululemon or something, and you lay it out in the morning 
So it is waiting to be worn in the afternoon after you come home from work. If you are consistent, the positive gains will absolutely follow and keep you on track. Other methods that do facilitate change are publicly proclaiming your resolution. So tell your friends, family, committing to it like your life depends upon it. And then picking something that you wanna do for you, some change for you. It's not about pleasing somebody else. And then you also want to, you want to choose one thing at a time. And then you have to also have the belief that you have the power to improve self-control. Okay. And then the other, the most important thing is you gotta, you gotta be ready for discomfort. And then you also want to be able to monitor or write your successes down, write the changes down. So finally, Okay? And most importantly, and again, you've got to expect discomfort. If you feel comfortable, then you didn't need to change it. Okay? If you need a little more motivation, I want you to check out this great marketing video by GNC. Do you want to be average or do you want to be great? And I want you all to be great this year and every year. And again, it starts now. You're not waiting for the next resolution or waiting for another change date. You're changing whatever you need to today. So check out this great video uh, from GNC. Thanks. It's out there. It's that voice in your head. Making sure you sleep through that yoga class. Convincing you that one donut hole couldn't possibly lead to another. Average. Average blames the camera for those extra 10 pounds and sets the treadmill on mosey or stroll or loiter. Need an excuse? Average has them all. Skip the gym. It'll probably be too crowded anyway. Average. Yeah, take it easy there, fella. Average has memory issues. I forgot to work out. I forgot to work out. And memory issues. I work out. It's crowning achievement. Everyone gets a trophy. Average is good. Average is good. No. Average is average. You can beat it. And it starts at GNC.